And on Wall Street, NVIDIA was the worst performer on the Dow overnight, even as the AI market leader unveiled its newest set of chips to power AI systems for customers, including Amazon, Google, Microsoft and Meta. A CEO Jensen Huang talking up the ability of Blackwell Ultra chips to build more content at a faster rate. It's also expected to give NVIDIA a 50-fold increase in revenue opportunity at data centers. Mr. Huang also previewing its next generation chips, including the Vera Rubin, which will be launched next year, and the Feynman chips arriving in 2028. Also in the works, collaboration with General Motors that would see the automaker use NVIDIA's AI chips to develop autonomous vehicle technology for its cars. A CNA's Tan Suhui reports from San Jose, California. It's set to be the Super Bowl of AI with 25,000 attendees at the conference and around 300,000 tuning in virtually from around the world. Uh, Blackwell. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang unveiled the company's next generation line of chips, Blackwell Ultra, that's set to ship in the second half of this year, as well as Vera Rubin in 2026. Also introduced the next super chip after Vera Rubin called Rubin Ultra, which will be shipped in 2027. All these are set to boast higher speeds and memory bandwidth, allowing it to support larger AI models. We're building AI factories and AI infrastructure. It's going to take years of planning. This isn't, this isn't like buying a laptop. You know, this isn't, a, this isn't discretionary spend. This is spend that we have to go plan on. And so we have to plan on having, of course, the land and the power, and, and we have to get, get to our, our CapEx ready, and we get engineering teams, and, and we have to lay it out a couple, two, three years in advance, which is the reason why I show you our roadmap a couple, two, three years in advance. Other product launches include a new line of personal AI computers called DGX Spark, as well as the debut of Groot, a foundation model for AI robotics. Look how smart you are. Yes, you're smart. The highly celebrated conference offers a peek into the future. It's also a platform for NVIDIA to reassure investors of its leadership in the fast-evolving AI scene. The company's stock price has been hit by fears that future demand for AI chips may not meet expectations following the entry of Chinese startup DeepSeek, which claims its AI models were developed with a fraction of the chips and at, at a significantly lower cost. It isn't helping either that U.S. President Donald Trump is threatening a 25% tariff on semiconductors produced overseas with the potential for further export controls. But the tech route on Nasdaq hasn't dampened the mood at this year's GTC. The growth of the uh, AI in many fields, we are working in manufacturing, so we see the, the, the uptake there is incredible. And the Gen AI is introducing so many new possibilities. Agentic AI I see as a force to reckon with because now you have a system in which you can distribute the workloads to narrow models and get more accurate results. So I'm very optimistic about that. Last month, AI chips lifted the company's total revenue by 78% from a year earlier to $39.3 billion during the three months that ended in January. The GTC conference runs till March 21st. An entire day will be set aside for quantum technology on Thursday. Tan Suhui, CNA, San Jose.